Hello friends, it's time for Halo. Now let's begin with our Halo song and follow along with me. Healthy makes us bigger, healthy makes us stronger, healthy makes us better, able to think. Healthy makes us bigger, healthy makes us stronger, healthy makes us better, able to think. Good job, friends. Now, will everybody show me your hands and follow along for our Sometimes My Hands finger play. Sometimes my hands are by my side. Sometimes behind my back, they hide. Sometimes my hands wiggle like so. Shake them fast, shake them slow. Sometimes my hands go clap, clap, clap. Then I put them in my lap. And now we're just as quiet as can be because it's time for Halo, you see? Good job, my friends. And now in our last Halo lessons, you learned that you are a very special person who is capable of many things. And you learned that you're a very important part of your family. And in the last Halo lesson, you learned about communication. Now, do you remember what communication means? Good job. Communication is when one person speaks and the other person listens and you take turns speaking and listening, and this is how we communicate. Now today, we are going to talk about our feelings. We're gonna talk about happy and sad and mad and scared. Now, I'm gonna show you pictures of faces that show different ways that we feel. Can you name this feeling? Right, this feeling is happy. And what about this feeling? Good, this one is sad or upset. Now, can you name this feeling? Good, this one means mad or angry. And the last one, can you name this feeling? This feeling is scared. Very good job, my friends. Now, the first one that I want to talk about is happy. Can you show me your happiest face? Good job. So sometimes when people feel happy, they smile. And what are some other things that people do to show that they're happy? Good, thank you for sharing. Sometimes when people feel happy, they smile and laugh, or they tell jokes, or they give hugs. And can you tell me one thing that makes you feel happy? Good, thank you for sharing. Now, happy is a very important feeling to remember because we all like to feel happy during the day. And it's important to remember those things that make us feel happy because sometimes if we feel sad or upset, we can do something that makes us feel happy. So the next feeling that we're gonna talk about is sadness. Now, how can you tell if somebody is feeling sad? That's right. Sometimes people show us that they're sad by frowning or hanging their head down or even crying or just wanting to be alone. Now, can you tell me some things that make you feel sad? Thank you for sharing. Everybody has these feelings sometimes, even grown-ups. And even though feelings of sadness can be really strong and make us feel uncomfortable, it's important to know that these are not bad feelings and people aren't bad for ha having sad feelings. But it is very important that when you feel sad that you tell somebody about how you're feeling. There are many ways that we can try to feel better. Now when we're feeling sad it's important to remember those feelings of happiness and the things that we can do to make ourselves feel better. We can always talk about our feelings, we can ask for a hug, and even if there's no one to give us a hug we can give ourselves a big hug. 
Can you show me how you give yourself a big hug? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good job, my friends. Now let's talk about feeling mad or angry. Can you show me your angry face? Good, thank you. Now, can you remember a time that you felt mad or angry? Good, thank you for sharing. And now, mad and angry is another strong feeling that can be very uncomfortable. And just like it's okay to feel happy and feel sad, it's okay to feel angry sometimes. But it's important to know that no matter how big and strong or uncomfortable these feelings are, it's never okay to do things like hitting or breaking things or saying mean things because we're angry. Instead, there are things that we can do to make ourselves feel better. Can you tell me one thing that makes you feel better when you're angry? Good, thank you for sharing. There are many things that we can do. Um, one important thing is to use our words and tell somebody what's wrong when we're feeling angry. Another thing we can do is to take a big, deep breath. Now, I have some really fun deep breaths that we can take. First, can you take a deep breath like an alligator? Let's breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. And we can take deep breaths like a baby alligator. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. We could take a deep breath like a butterfly. Will you breathe in with me like a butterfly? Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. And we could do a little butterfly too. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. So when we feel really, really angry and uncomfortable, remember that we can talk about our feelings and we can take these big deep breaths and taking deep breaths helps to calm our body down. Now the last feeling that we're going to talk about is scared. Can you show me your scared face? Good job. Now everybody, even grown-ups, feel scared sometimes. Maybe we feel scared if we, if we see a big scary spider or we have a bad dream. Can you tell me a time that you felt scared? Good, thank you. Now, sometimes we get scared because things are not what we expect or we don't know what to do in a situation. For example, if somebody gets hurt or we don't know the answer to a question, this might, might may make us feel scared. And just like in other uncomfortable situations or other uncomfortable feelings, when we feel scared, it can help to tell somebody about our feelings. It can help to ask for a hug or even give ourselves a big hug. Do you remember how we did that? Give yourself a big squeeze. Good. And it can help to take deep breaths. Now let's do our breaths one more time. Take a deep breath like an alligator. And now like a butterfly, take a deep breath. Good job, my friends. Now let's review our feelings. Can you tell me what this feeling is? Good job. How about this feeling? Good, and this one? Good, and this is the last one we talked about. Which feeling is this? Good job, my friends. Now it is time for our healthy and harmful card game. If I show you a healthy choice, I want you to give me two thumbs up. And if I show you a harmful choice, I want you to give me two thumbs down. So do we remember what healthy means? A 
healthy choice is something that helps us to grow up to be bigger and stronger and better able to think. And a harmful choice is something that does not help us to grow up bigger and stronger. So remember, if it's healthy, give me your two thumbs up. And if it's harmful, give me two thumbs down. All right, let's begin. For our first card, we have watermelon. And watermelon is a fruit. Now, is fruit healthy or harmful? That's right, it's healthy. Fruit is good for our bodies. It has lots of vitamins and gives us energy so that we can run and play. It helps us to grow up bigger and stronger and better able to think. Now, our next card. We have carrots and carrots are vegetables. Are vegetables healthy or harmful? That's right, they're healthy, just like fruits. Fruits and vegetables both help us to grow up to be bigger and stronger and better able to think. Now in this picture, we have candy. Is candy healthy or harmful? That's right, candy is harmful because candy has a lot of sugar and this can hurt our our belly, it can hurt our teeth and our mouth, and it can even hurt our brain. So we don't want to eat candy all the time. It's okay to have once in a while as a treat, but if we eat candy every single day at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, then it can be really harmful for our bodies. We want to eat fruits and vegetables and healthy foods. Now, how about this picture? It looks like a, a child exercising and playing with a grown-up. Is this healthy or harmful? That's right, it's healthy. Playing and exercising is good for our bodies and makes us feel happy. Now, one more card. In this picture, it looks like the boy is drinking water. And is water healthy or harmful? It's healthy. And there's something else healthy in this picture. He's wearing a helmet and that keeps his head safe. So these are two healthy things. Now it's time to finish up with our Halo song. Will you follow along with me? us bigger, healthy makes us stronger, healthy makes us better able to think. Healthy makes us bigger, healthy makes us stronger, healthy makes us better able to think. Good job my friends and I will see you next time. <laughs>